Hello, everyone. Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. I'm very excited to talk about this next book that I'll be reviewing. This is Starhenge, book number one, The Dragon and the Boar from Image Comics. Uh, pretty much, uh, let's, I mean, you know, you can probably tell from the cover, uh, but let's take a look at the creative team here. This book is written, illustrator, and lettered by Liam Sharp with additional art by Matilda McCormick Sharp, font by Dave Givens. Uh, designed by Liam Sharp. So this is pretty much Liam Sharp doing what Liam Sharp does best, telling a fun story, telling a weird story with beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Uh, so let's take a look at some of those illustrations. But before that, let me give you a quick synopsis of what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> a future Merlin travels to 5th century Britain to prevent monstrous time-traveling killer robots from robbing the universe of magic. And Ember Weaver's lively present-day narrative reveals how she becomes drawn into the war across time. Doesn't that sound just like the most bonkers concept you've ever heard of? Uh, but yeah, it's it's so much fun. Uh, and then when you get art like this with Liam Sharp, like it is so hard to not be drawn into this book. This is a book that you read the first time for the story, and you have to go back and just relive the art. Now that you know what's going on, even panels like the second page that I'm showing. And I, I like the way this kind of ended up with the contrast of like we have a page that is full of narrative and illustration and telling you everything that you need to know. And then you have a second page that's kind of like a palette cleanser in between things, in between sequences. Uh, but even the little the the panel layouts give you a little bit of pacing. It's almost like like a little timer on, on the karaoke when it's telling you like, you know, this is the, we're about to go to the next thing. Uh, and, and the book continues like that. We have this contrast of like this old painterly style of like being back in uh, in fifth century Britain versus the contrast of what we saw earlier with all the technology. And then we jump into the next page here as we are actually in space in this starship. Uh, it is it is just I, I can't imagine how a book like this comes together. Uh, I've seen William Sharp do some promotion for this book, and I think. It's been way undersold, and I just want to let you know, you have to go out and get this book. Uh, if you if you want some really weird, cool concepts, if you want a fun story, if you want, it is definitely something you have to pay attention to. I, I, I as I went into this book, I just kind of zoned everything out because I wanted to make sure to capture and just feel everything that's going on. And even then, I feel like I've missed some things, so I'm definitely gonna give this a, a read once over. Um, uh, once more, uh, but yeah, I mean, just look at, I, I get lost in pages from, from Liam Sharp, uh, especially things that just look like that first page we saw here. Uh, and then, you know, we go into this other style here in the, the looking back at these creatures and the, the layouts, just the little bits of writing, like, you know, just there's so much detail. There's so much craft into this book. I love here the close up of the eye of uh the uh what is it like a stag uh it's just so this is like comic book making i think at its finest uh so yeah highly recommend this uh if you if by now you don't know where i stand on this book i highly recommend you go pick this up uh and as always thanks for watching everyone remember to share like subscribe hit the bell so you know when we go live that is most sundays 10 a.m central standard time stay tuned because we have more comic reviews trailer reactions tv recaps all that fun stuff here in the channel so thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.